Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong and I have been asked how do you design a studio? Do you, you know, get a designer and and all that expensive stuff? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do it on your own and how to do it for free. Now, this is using Google SketchUp software and uh, this is a free download from Google and there's a lot of really great tutorials that will teach you how to do this. But I'll just show you kind of the basics of how powerful this tool is in designing a workspace. So I've just gone up and clicked on the little um, on the rectangle here. Let me pull in my toolbox right there so you can kind of see more of the tools. I'll click on the rectangle box right here and I'm just going to hold down the button. So we're going to click, hold, and pull, and then let go. And that's basically how you do everything in SketchUp. Now it doesn't matter the size of the rectangle right now. It doesn't really matter because I'm just going to drop that in. I'm going to be able to change the dimensions down here. So let's just call it a 30 foot and then I'll put a comma and we'll put 32 foot. So this really is almost like kind of a thousand square foot. Now it's a little bit off the screen. I'm going to take my scroll wheel and I'm going to scroll down or up. There you go. And I'll take the H button and move. So the H means hand. Okay. And then the scroll up and down is the zoom. So we'll go like that. Now the command B button or rotate right there will allow you to rotate your shape. Now this is kind of cool. This is of course what we call um, kind of an oblique perspective. I'm going to want to show the walls, right? So let's do this one up here is called the push-pull tool. This is a really cool tool. Watch how fast I can just raise up a nine-foot wall. Down here on the right you can see the distance on the very bottom right and I'm pulling it down to just about nine feet right around there okay so I'm not going to do it perfect that's my rectangular cube and again when I go to the rotate thing I can just kind of look around but that's about a thousand square feet right there okay I'm going to take the top off so I can see inside actually no let's not do that yet let's go ahead and do the offset tool right here this guy right there see how it's a circle inside a circle that's called the offset tool the offset tool will allow me to basically make a little shape inside. So I'm just going to click down and I'm just going to pull like that. And now guess what I've got? I've got walls. Now I'm going to get rid of that top. So go to the point tool, click on this top right there and delete. There is the inside of my studio. Again, command B and I can roll around and look around inside the studio. I'm going to make a standard door and uh, so we'll just go ahead and put a door in the center. I think a door is typically four foot nine. We'll go ahead and make it, let's see, eight foot. No, it's not eight foot. Well, anyway, let's just go ahead and make maybe a door right here. Okay, ah, that's not that's not a good door. Okay, there's a door. And I'll just put a little window here, a little window here. Okay, again. And now to move things, you just go to this move guy and then we'll just move. So that's the door, that's the window. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit clearer what's going on. I'm going to do the push-pull tool right here and I'm going to just hover over this surface. See how it turns into dots? I'll just push like that and look at that. I can dig a tunnel all the way through and we can just go ahead and climb through our studio if we want or that could be a ventilation gate but that would be a terrible design. So let's just turn that into a window. I'm going to push it in just enough so that it goes past the wall. I'll click right here and go like that and click out of it. Now when I go through I can see inside. How's that? It's a little bit of a thick wall because I've made it like that so I'll just go ahead and go in here and just kinda get rid of these guys right there like that. There's also a handy thing called an erase tool which is right there and I can just touch on the things that I don't want anymore and they'll just go away. Okay, so that is, oops, I'm now going to undo. Let's zoom in so we can just do this a little bit better. Get rid, get rid, touch and disappear, touch and disappear, touch and disappear. Okay, so this is my window. Now, that's all nice and all, so we can figure out we're going to have a window and we're going to have the ability to look through it and that's all nice, but how about we add some furniture? And this is the part where I think it's the most powerful because you're going to want to know where you're going to place things, right? So we'll go to File, and this is the most powerful thing, 3D Warehouse, Get Models. And this is, again, free. I'll just go in here like this, and we'll put Sofa. 
and it'll pull up all these different sofas and I'm gonna ooh I like Herman Miller that's the chair I'm sitting in right now and we'll go download model and it'll ask if you want to download it directly in your SketchUp model yes I do and I want to put it right about there and you know what's really cool about this actually is that it's in scale so I know exactly if I'm gonna bump into furniture or anything like that that's what's most powerful about this let's go like that and we can go and in fact you know what I'll do if I want to rotate it I'll just go right up here to the rotate tool and then I'll just click on it and then I'll just rotate the couch and let go like that okay so I can move it anywhere I want I can go like that and move it there for example and then again we'll just go ahead and rotate so that we can see basically where it is that's a pretty spacious studio actually um, you know we can put in maybe camera room over here uh, this would be a nice north white law wall and what's neat is you know if you're looking at a space just go over ask them what the dimensions are and then just go nuts on designing and th this is really super fun so that's that and let's bring in a grand piano so we'll go to the 3d warehouse get models and I'll just say grand piano and here ooh, they don't have any th oh there it is okay so let's get a Steinway no I want a Bosendorfer we're gonna go all out here okay so Bosendorfer piano let's see if they have it don't know it's kind of fancy schmancy and there's one right there it's a couple hundred grand for that but free today on Google SketchUp load in the model yes here it comes and let's see how my Bosendorfer model oh this one's kinda big um, that's okay so watch what happens I'm gonna just show you it's just now gone and disappeared into the floor I'm gonna have to scale this sucker so I don't know why that one's so big they've actually made it off scale and there are errors in some of these things so we're gonna go to the scale tool okay like that and then we'll just grab the corners and pull in until we have a decent sized piano and again this is not good because it's uh, they haven't scaled it properly but I do know that it's going to drop into there look at how it kinda goes through the walls and it's all kinda weird so what we want to do is we want to move on the face and the easiest way to do that is to go like this bring it in close then use this move tool and pull it that way okay so we'll take my hand and move it around and we'll take the move tool and move it like that wow that's a big piano okay so this is a 90 foot concert grand it's so big that uh, uh, it's it's not even practical there there we go oh it's underwater let's go up okay so that is my crazy studio it's so big we have to remove the ceiling and I'll go over here let's remove this wall so we can see through and this is basically uh, thanks to my Bosendorfer selection kind of a poor selection because it didn't actually place properly but you might as well learn uh, what all the different things are let me scale this because it's just really gonna bother me scale this guy right here click on it and let's just bring it back into something more oh I shouldn't hold the shift button there okay so now Bosendorfer inside couch and this is Google SketchUp you can put anything in here in fact I'm gonna put in a horse let's put in get models and I'll put horse okay so I'm just gonna put a horse and the horse will be uh, rearing up we're gonna download it do we want to yes and we're actually being a little bit silly now but it's kinda of fun so got my horse and oh there we are little horsey inside my building alright and so the horse is inside there and now we have a horse inside our space and that's cool that's and this horse is pretty big actually so now that I know if I bring my horse inside my house he won't have room to rear his head up without hitting the ceiling handy to know because um, you know having a horse that's about 16 hands weighs a couple thousand pounds you know if I wanted to bring him in and kind of cuddle up next to the fireplace I need to know that he's gonna probably hit the ceiling once uh, he rears up so that's that's actually 
one of the handy things about Google SketchUp. Uh, we can go right inside here and just kind of look around, right? Okay, so go to the hand tool and I'm inside. Ta-da! This is how you design your uh, space and this is how I designed everything that I have uh, in terms of space design on Google SketchUp. I designed my office, I designed uh, pretty much everything. Uh, we designed the nursery like that. It's uh, super handy. Okay, hope this helps. Enjoy Google SketchUp free.